some cases, they die. Archaeologists in the West Country have found a set of human skeletons that are 12,000 years old. They're said to be the best preserved Stone Age remains anywhere in Northern Europe. And what they reveal is a grisly secret about ancient Britain. They could have been man-eating cannibals. The bones were found in the caves of Cheddar Gorge in Somerset, from where Paul Cannon now reports. The marks made on the skulls and bones by flint axes show that 12,000 years ago, people were killed at Cheddar, probably by cannibals. The search began in April, when the first of the bones was spotted through a crack. It's the most important find from the Stone Age ever made in Britain, according to Dr. Chris Springer of the Natural History Museum. We've got many bones from the skeleton. We've got quite complete specimens such as this, which is the most complete old Stone Age skull yet found in, in British Isles. Uh, when we study these, we will have a much better idea about the biology of people who lived in the old Stone Age. Today, the bones were on show to some of the millions of tourists who visit Cheddar Cave. Now they'll be taken away for detailed tests before going on show in the cave's museum. One of the teachers' unions said today that it's still keen on the idea of having four terms instead of three in a school year. Last week, the government said the plan had been dropped because there wasn't enough support for it. But the National Union of Head Teachers claims the idea has the full backing of its members, as well as many parents, and it's asking the government to think again. An adventurous wind surfer is today on the final leg of a record-breaking voyage as he sails along the coast of France. Stephen Peron became the first person to windsurf alone across the Atlantic Ocean from New York in America to France, 3,000 miles. When he arrived in the middle of the night, Stefan had survived six and a half weeks at sea. Others have made the crossing on two-man boards, but Stefan believes he's the first to do it alone. He sailed a strange... And finally tonight, a greenhouse that cost five million pounds was open today at the famous Royal Botanical Gardens at Kew in London by the Princess of Wales. 15,000 tropical plants grow here in the first big conservatory to be built at Kew for more than a hundred years. Computers control the heat and humidity and the landscapes created inside vary from rainforest to desert. The new conservatory, the biggest in the world, has been named after the princess and it's expected to attract a million visitors a year. The vast structure made from glass and steel will take the place of 26 smaller glass houses. And that's it tonight. Roger will be with you tomorrow in the hot house of the Newsround Studio. So from me for now, bye-bye.